one. What's up, y'all? Alex Miller with the Eagle, joined by Coach Adrian Adams of the Allen Academy Rams. Coach, it's always good to see you. How, how's your summer been? Busy summer. Busy yeah. Summer. You know, same thing as always. A lot of baseball, a lot of weight room, but uh, ready for practice next week. Yeah, you know, the end of baseball can only mean one thing: football is near. Football is here. Well, hey, you know. What are what are maybe some of the hopes and the expectations that you have for this year's Allen Academy team? Is it is it chapter twenty two or twenty three? I'm, I'm losing track. <laughs> it's it's, it's twenty four. Twenty four. Uh, Come on, Alex. Yeah, but uh, no uh, expectations for this season. We're, we're hoping to get a gold ball in this year and make the playoffs and, and make a playoff run. Um, but that just kind of starts in the work we've done in the off season in the summer. So we're looking forward for. Uh, practicing game one right now. Yeah, you know, where do you really see maybe the strength of this Allen Academy team going into the season? Uh, I think our top end talent is really good. Our upperclassmen with Rusty and Brock and Reese and Logan, they've been in the program several years. Those guys are playmakers. But also our younger guys who are going to be world players, they've been putting a lot of work in as well. So it's, it's pretty much a cohesive unit. It's a little bit smaller team, 11 on the roster, kind of similar to my first year at Allen. So I'm kind of looking forward to that piece too. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely think our top end talent is pretty high. You know, a little bit of a younger team on, on, on one end. Um, how are you kind of seeing those younger guys come along quickly? Uh, guys y'all are going to probably be depending on this season. So when you lose a guy like uh, Ethan Lucas, the quarterback, you got to feel that he's a four year starter. But Sawyer Marriott, he's worked hard in the offseason, um, put on some weight. And uh, I think he can lead the offense. Same thing we lose to Eli Dawson. We got other guys stepping into different roles. Mario Popero, um, guys like that. They're going to have roles they're going to have to play um, on the team. But I think another thing you'll see where our other guys are, we're going to make them more versatile. We're going to move them around in different spots and let them make plays in different areas. So that's pretty exciting. Well, two established guys that you have are Rusty and Brock for sure. You know, how, how have you seen those two guys in particular really elevate their game over the last couple of years? Rusty started as a freshman um, in safety. His development on the field, his body size, his speed is all increased, but his knowledge for the game is what's really increased, his IQ. So we need his leadership to put other guys in position to make plays. For Brock, same thing, he's starting to come into his own. I expect a real big jump his junior year and what he does on the field on both offense and defense. Uh, you know, what do you kind of make of your schedule and your district? I know there's been a little bit of shakeup uh, at, 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 at Yale's level. So in Division Two, um, we move out some heavyweights with Conroe going 11 man and Pasadena going to D1, so that helps us. But we still have Beaumont and uh, Katie Big West. And then Alpha Omega, who's back in six man, who was a rival when I first got here, that's going to be a real strong test too. Non district, we have some really good games. We start off with uh, Baytown Christian, who was played in the D3 state championship. So we played them in our showcase. Um, of course, we have BBT and St. Joe on our schedule, and then a couple other teams that get us ready for district. So we feel real good about the schedule. Yeah, I'm sure y'all are looking forward to that game against St. Joseph, as always. <laughs> Everybody wants to talk about the game against St. Joe. Um, it was a close game last year. We got them at home this year. We know they have a new coach, Coach Borgioni. Not real sure what they're going to run, what they're going to do. But the rivalry is still there, and we're looking forward to it. Well, what do you think it's going to take for this Rams team to achieve what you hope they can do? So last year, a lot of times, I think Brock talked about this a little bit. There were some games we looked back, back in, we just didn't really feel like we showed up. So that's kind of our mantra this year. We want to show up and show out each and every Friday night when we play. So if we can do that, stay healthy, I feel good about our chances this year. All right. Well, hey, that's Coach Adams. Uh, be sure to check theeagle.com for all of our preseason coverage of high school football here in the Brazos Valley. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Alex.